Barnes in South Jordan right now. He's giving us a preview of the Beehive Dog Show. What's up, B? I, <laughs> do you guys, do you guys uh, have dogs and uh, do you guys teach your dogs tricks? And then uh, I have friends that have dogs and try to compete against each other. Well, do, I have a dog, do you teach and I, dog? yes, and uh, I teach ankles? her tricks. <laughs> <laughs> well, this show has, has nothing to do with any of that. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey guys, it is Friday. I'm just trying to give you some ideas of what you can do with your family, and whether you have a dog or not. If you love dogs, if you love people, this is a great event. I know how you doing, man. Good. So, so Linda, is this is this a stepping stone into that big dog show that we always see every year on on, on national television? Yeah, actually, this show is one of the biggest shows in the Intermountain West. So over the weekend, we'll have about 1,200 dogs that will be here each day competing. Um, kind of what you see on TV, but it doesn't necessarily lead up to those that you see okay, on TV, but okay. this is a big show in and of itself. Now, well, the winner here, are there multiple winners? Is one big crown that everybody's buying for? Yeah, everyone really wants that best in show ribbon, which means it's the best dog of all those 1,200 on that day. Um, but everyone gets to win. There's a lot of winners. Every breed gets a winner, so hopefully we can spread it around a little evenly. Now, now, I've never been before as, as, a, as a participant um, or as an audience member, but does it cost anything? Can I bring my whole family? Is it family friendly? Yes, it's very family friendly. We encourage people who are looking to uh, add a dog to their family to research the breeds. They're all here, so you might as no better place to come and see what kind of dog fits your family. It is free and it goes through Sunday, 8.30 to 3.30 every day. Okay. Well, we'll put a link on the website. Uh, all you have to do is go to fox13now.com for all the information. So what we'll do from this point on, Danny Carey, is we'll highlight some of the things, starting with what do judges look for in a dog? So Kaino's going to walk us through that when we come back. Um, all dogs go to heaven, but only one of them gets the best of Utah. <laughs> is that their slogan? <laughs> Thanks, me. See ya. Yeah, we get our share, huh? We got the lives and stuff like that. Right now, we're going to show just go to the dogs all together. <laughs> Why not? It. Yeah, let's go out to Big Buddha right now. He's got the dog show. What's up, B? I know I've been waiting to use that line. Seriously. Actually, it just came to me. But you know that we don't think about anything ahead of time. <laughs> I, I don't want to give away all of our secrets on the show, Dan. Uh, yes, a dog. Uh -huh. so on to the dogs. Uh, I, think, I think it's appropriate to start uh, here with Gail as far as judging. What? And as I'm watching the show, whether it's on television or in person, I'm always wondering, what are judges looking for? How, let's first start off, how many experiences of being a judge do you have? I have been a judge for 15 years now. Okay. And what, now, are there specific areas that you're looking for? For example, if you're judging a certain competition, I'm only looking for one thing. Or are you looking for multiple things? Oh, it's multiple things, all right. Um, I think it's important that the viewers understand that each and every AKC-recognized breed has its own unique breed standard, and within that unique breed standard, they define all of the attributes that are desirable in this instance in the French Bulldog. Okay, so since we're talking about French Bulldog, what are you going to be looking for uh, for, for a judging demonstration? When they first come into the ring, I'm going to take a look at their silhouette. And what's important about their silhouette and what makes a French Bulldog unique from another breed is the roach top line, the slight rise over the loin. Okay. Also, those beautiful elongated uh, rounded tip ears, which we call the bat ear. This is the only breed, the French Bulldog is the only breed that calls for a bat ear. And there's approximately 180 breeds recognized by the AKC today. Okay. That makes them very unique. And there are several other attributes that makes a French Bulldog unique. How about, how about when the dog uh, handlers are walking their dogs around? At that point, what are you looking for when they start to walk around? When they're going around the ring, we're uh -huh. going to take a look at okay. their reach and drive. Yep. And what we want to see is how well the French Bulldog is holding the top line. Does it have a correct slight rise over the So tell us what you see, because I, I don't know, I, I don't see anything wrong, but I'm not a chet, but you tell me what you're looking at. <laughs> what I'm looking at is that they should have a slight rise over the loin, they should have a vigorous movement, they should have good reach and okay. drive. And that, that's what I'm going to look at as they're going around the ring, is for that side gate, we call so, it. So, so would you say thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, thumbs absolutely. Up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dan, I also noticed that uh, right above your loin, too, there's a little there's a little slope. <laughs> you might you might want to just, you know, just, just shore that up a little bit. Work on, work on that loin, yes. Well, 
They call it loins on my people thinner than me. On me, they, they call them love handles. You know, yeah. I, I, I thought work this would be more of a private conversation that you and I might have. It is private. There's just a, there's just a ton of our friends listening in on our conversation. <laughs> if we That's... would ever have this conversation, I thought maybe it would be private. Sorry, I, those are. I'm not even going to ask. I'm not going to ask Gail to judge you about, based on, on the sloping of your loins. We'll just we'll just leave it <laughs> at that. Yes, we will. We'll let the viewers say that. <laughs> this show has really gone to the dog, seriously. Gail, thank you for the insight on what it is to be a judge. It's just the tip of the iceberg, I know, but you, you, I definitely uh, am opening up my mind to new things. Thank you so much. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how we kick your weekend off on this Friday. We're going to come back with more Beehive Dog Show. Go to Fox13Now.com for more information. Really, it's all about the dogs, right there. That's what I'm talking about. Who left them out? <laughs> yeah, by me. Roof, roof. <laughs> okay, let's try this dog show thing again. We're going to go out to South Jordan where Big Buddha is hanging out for the Beehive Dog Show this morning. Hey, B. Hey. Ah. Hey. 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 Just kidding. <laughs> Please, no, not this morning, B. I'm just kidding. Why, you freaking out work. already? I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. No more glitches. I was just, I was just joking. Uh, this is Matt. Matt, what's the name of your grooming shop in American Pork? Fresh Pet Paradise? Now, you're, it's a little different uh, as far as groomers because uh, you, anybody can pick up a clipper like you were telling me and comb and be a groomer. Right. However, you are a little bit different. Uh, tell me about that part. Right, so up at our shop we uh, stress getting a certification pretty uh, pretty well. Uh, we are certified through the National Dog Groomers Association of America. Okay. A few groomers that have uh, certified through that. Now, now, when you're certified and you're getting, if I'm a dog owner and I'm getting ready for a show, I, I don't want to do my own grooming. I would look for somebody certified like yourself. Yeah, is, is that right? Yep. Um, and the reason is because we're trained to a higher degree, so we can do all sorts of grooming. We can do pet grooming, but we can also groom dogs and get them ready for the show. And, okay. Uh, who do we have here? This is Betty. Um, she is a standard poodle. Okay. And uh, <laughs> she's all dyed up and. Uh, Done in a creative. I've seen I've seen shows, but I've never seen dogs set up this way. Is, is there a category for this, or was yeah. this so you, fun? Um, you can compete in this uh, category. It's called creative grooming, and you pretty much just try to make them look like uh, something else <laughs> with her, uh, some leopard print on her. Yeah, I um, mean, it took about two days. So yeah. what, when you're when you're grooming a uh, poodle, for, uh, like like um, uh, Betty here, what are you looking for? What are you trying to do to impress the judges? Um, what we're, we would try to do is uh, carve out some angulation um, and just really show that she's got nice structure, uh, show her leg joint and uh, her, her bent of knee and uh, just show off that she is uh, put together nicely. Okay, so, so let me understand. So, so let me say, if, if her, her fur w or hair was, was, was thicker and all you saw was a straight line, it does, it's the groomer's job to, to make sure that there's, yep. there's contour. Yes. Okay. Um, Anything, anything interesting else about Betty that you want to point out that the groomer does that she doesn't naturally have? Uh, sure. So she's pretty curly um, normally, and what we do is uh, she gets brushed every single day, uh, and what we do a process called line brushing, which means I pull down the hair and I brush it like this so that we can get all the way to the skin, and then when I'm done with that section, I put down the next section. And you go through the whole dog like wow. It's a um, it sounds like it's a TV process. It's definitely time to do it. Then we take a comb and just run that through and make sure there's no resistance and we've uh, gotten yeah. all the tangles out. Yeah, Dan. That's right. That's exactly the same technique that Carrie uses. Yeah. <laughs> one, one layer at a time. Yeah, yeah. That's how she's back combing things. Well, she does that. That's how you get the. The, the Utah County Claw. That's, that's how you yeah. do that. Bam. There's like that. technique involved, yeah. for sure. Uh, <laughs> where are you guys located at so we can stop by and see what a certified groomer's yeah, all about? We're just uh, off 500 East in American Fork. Um, right by Cold Stone 7 Eleven. All right. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so yeah. much. Hey, you're acting like Benny White right now. Better eat a Snickers. All right, we'll be back for more Behind Top Show. <laughs> Bye, Dan. Bye, Garrett. See ya. See you in a few. Whatever you're doing, your hair is working. <laughs> Sleeping on it. That's, <laughs> That's bedhead. Yeah. Big Buddha's hanging out with some little dogs and big dogs. We've seen both sizes now, mm -hmm. and not much in between. What's going on out there, B? Any medium well, dogs out there? <laughs> there? There are, um, but they're, they're not here yet. They're still getting their dog uh, beauty sleep. So, oh, they need uh, it. Yeah.
The show actually kicks off at 8.30. That was from Saturday this morning. This morning. Uh, aside from coming out to the free show and enjoying the dogs, there's also um, a fundraiser that we're trying to help. You're, you're trying to help out with uh, canine officers. Tell, tell, tell me about that, Kendall. Yeah, for the last while, uh, the Utah Valley Kennel Club and Intermountain Kennel Club, as part of this show, have done a fundraiser uh, to for proceeds to supply bulletproof vests to both Salt Lake County and Utah County Sheriff's Departments. This year, we'll be doing three vests. Um, these vests are very expensive, so a lot of times the county and city government Governments can't afford, or, or it's not a priority item for them to uh, purchase for their canine officers. So we have to step in, and that's one of the things that the purebred dog community does a really good job at. Um, how do they participate? Do they just stop by? Is it a opportunity drawing? Is it just donations? Yeah, we take donations. Uh, we're doing a fundraiser here uh, with some items, but we all take donations to help uh, supplement the cost of these guys. Very, very, very good. Police departments. Okay. So speaking of which, when we come back, we will meet Officer Giles and his canine partner and see them in action. I don't know exactly what they do, but we're going to see them uh, go to work here in the uh, arena here. So, Danny Harry, don't go anywhere. We're going to have some fun with some uh, canine officers. I'll stay here if Gary stays here. All right. All right. All right. You know what a cluster really is? <laughs> <laughs> I think about that a lot, especially yeah. between 5 and 9 a.m. <laughs> when you're working on a live fly to buy the seat of your pants uh -huh. show, you know, sometimes you know exactly what it is. But I think the judges where Big Buddha is know what a cluster is even better than we do. It's a beehive cluster dog show. That's what they call it. It's a cluster out there, B. What's the name? Uh huh. That's true. Like that. A cluster. It's a cluster. That's it. What? You know, here's a cluster, there's a cluster, I'm a cluster. It's a cluster, a cluster of too. dogs. Yeah, cluster. <laughs> a kennel, or kennel. The uh, Beehive Dog Show is absolutely free to everybody. Uh, but right now we're focusing on canine officers. We got officer jobs here. Now, do they call them canine officers, uh, like, like real officers, like, as a, uh, like a real person? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's got a real full-fledged officer. Yeah, he's got his own badge and... and uh, if, if you hurt him, it's just like hurting me. Okay. Um, tell me about the training you guys go through and what kind of dog uh, you have. Um, this is Havoc. He's a 18-month-old German Shepherd off seats. He uh, he's going to be a dual-purpose dog, which we spend four months of uh, training for uh, drug drug finding drugs, and we spend four months of apprehension school, which is the uh, finding suspects and apprehending them. Could, could you show us a few things here, uh, like maybe, uh, do you, what do you do? You use me for a war or petting? What no, this is a toy. A toy? He, gets, he gets a toy when he finds what he's looking for. Um, so we'll do a little bit of obedience, and, yeah, then, yeah, let's do and then you care if we just sniff around and see what we can yeah, do. I don't think you'll find anything right here. Cool. But yeah, yeah, sure, sure, right. whatever you want to do. Seats. Platz. Good. Good. Platz. Okay. Come here. Search. I mean, putting up behind the dog, so really, I, I don't know what they're looking for. So let's... Mm -hmm. He's really what interested did you in find? the bag. What's in there? What is that? Find something? Whose bag is this? Yeah, I don't know. What, 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 what's in there? There's marijuana in there. What? That's, yeah. That's, Whose that's, bag is that? Buddha, you are your stuff. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That is my bag. Don't try, don't try to report me and get me fired. Uh, Dad, please tell them this is just a cut show. We're just having some fun. Okay. <laughs> we put that in there. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. So, so the reward is, look, that's the reward. Look at that. This playtime is the reward. That's a good boy. Yeah. So whether they're on two legs or four, they are definitely officers. Uh, uh, Officer Dow, seriously, uh, with the uh, play the go PD. Appreciate what you guys do for us on a daily basis. Just putting your live and live of having on, on the line for us every day. For more information about the Beehive Show, all you have to do is go to fox13now.com. The Beehive Dog Show. All right? We'll be back with more. All right? Woo! You can tell these rough before. <laughs>
They're punching each other. Look at me. Well, because in my in my audition as the referee for the big fight, I, I was more concentrating on watching the fight. I was like, all right. You were taking spot. selfies, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Like, hold on, hold on, right there. I'm in the ring. Yeah, with these guys. exactly, exactly. Uh, speaking of selfies, you can come and take a selfie with some unique dogs. Not only do you see the competition going on, but Cynthia, you actually have some unique dogs that are rare in the United States, correct? Yes, I do. Well, I guess unique and rare are the same thing. Sorry. <laughs> Tell me about what you got here. Um, the two short-haired dogs are called Danish Swedish farm dogs, okay. and there's only about 200 of them in the country. And they're a fun little biddable dog. They like to do agility, uh, obedience, tracking, fly ball, herding. They herd sheep around. No, no. They're very so, some people trained. might be looking at the dogs and like, no, I've seen dogs like that before. Yeah, they look kind of like a terrier, like a Jack Russell or a rat terrier. Uh -huh. But they're, uh, they act like more like a herding dog. They're really easy to train. They're easy to live with. They're yeah, that's a, that's a good sweet. point, Dan. Dan. Dan was just saying there's an easy way to, to spot them. You look, you look right over here. See? That's yes. how you know. Right there. <laughs> right you know. there. Swedish, Danish um, Swedish farm dog. Most people don't read that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just giving you advice. Right. What about the other dog, the third dog? He is a chrome furlander, okay. and he was an opportunity I couldn't pass by. He was uh, available to come over from Denmark, and they're, they do really well in agility in Europe, and agility is my favorite sport. So all three of these dogs are in training for agility. Jet's competing in agility currently. So obviously, uh, with, with, with uh, um, dogs that are out there, people have a, a lot of dogs. For example, German Shepherd. Everybody knows what a German Shepherd looks like, what's supposed to behave like. Yes. What is the difficult part you get running into unique dogs that haven't been around? Um, well, the farm dogs are actually fairly easy to train, but okay. this guy, um, he's a little bit different. He doesn't like food very much, so he's taking food right now. So it's really easy to train a dog that likes food. Uh, he's like great on walk. Yeah, but he's like, he's like, no, nothing. So I'm really <laughs> learning what motivates him, what he likes, to, so he'll do the things that I want him to do. What's one thing that you found already? Um, he likes toys. He likes okay. to play. So if I get a like a real fur toy or that squeaks and stuff, and I, he likes to squeak. That's yeah. a really fun so, thing. so basically you're saying he's kind of like the uh, college student male uh, where he prefers video games over 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 food. Yes. That's okay. <laughs> pizza. Over the pizza. Okay. <laughs> well, do a combo, buddy. Do hey, a combo. guys. All right. Oh, there, I'm dropping food. Uh, huh? You'd like to see the dogs up close and personal. They're yeah, running yeah. outside in agility with yeah. Cynthia. Yeah. Uh, they're definitely, they definitely don't them. care about the Drop big fight, Dan, Gary. They don't care about that fight. Yeah. We'll be back with more Beehive Dog Show in the building. Yeah, Cynthia, thank you so much. All right. It's like at least two of them just care about the treats. <laughs> It actually started really early. Yeah, it went there for like, yeah. at, I don't know, 4.35. Yeah, very early. So we just decided to stick with the theme. Big Buddha's in a dog show today, hanging out with the canines. What's up, B? Hey, uh, we're talking about obedience, live television, man. You just never know when you're going to pop up. No. Uh, good morning. Your name, please. Wendy. I'm Wendy. Wendy. All right, so we want to talk about obedience, but we want to show how... One, you have to take your class, your, your dog to obedience class, but it's also about trust. So I want to highlight how just because I know some of the commands, that doesn't necessarily mean the dog's going to listen because we haven't built a relationship of trust. That's right. right. That is right. It's important to have that bond between you and your dog. That's what obedience training is all about. Okay. Have fun together. Introduce the dogs. Who, who do we have here? Okay, we have, this is George and Peppy. And Peppy is a Havanese, okay. and this is an Australian Shepherd named Rico. 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 All right. Rico. Let's start simple. Let's start with some simple commands that George would, would give his dog, and, and then I'll, I'll try to do the same thing at the same time. Is that all right? Okay, we'll see. All right, let's do this. Dog. All right. All right, we're just going to go right here in this little area. Okay. All right. See if you can get that dog to walk next to you on the left side. On the left side? Yeah. Let's see you do it, George. Show us how to do it. See how Peppy just stayed right there with George, watching right. every right. move. Oh, can you tell that dog to down? Yep, down. Oh, oh, he got right back up. No, okay, let's try again. Okay. It happened okay. for a second anyway. Right. Hey, take him right out there and let's see if you okay. can get him here. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on Rico. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, sit. Oh, good Whoa. boy, good boy. Uh, lay down. Lay dead. Nelly, George, what do you got over there? Okay, I got to stand. Okay, you got to <laughs> stand. Up. Stand. Uh, give, give me, oh, maybe, 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 maybe because he understands some more. Let me, let me try some more. Okay, try some more. Koi Koi Now, that's, 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 that's
that's that's not. Uh, how about Tongan? Maybe he understands Tongan. Tongan. <laughs> oh, well, I understand. He understands <laughs> Tongan words. <laughs> Anybody that, that has a dog and they want, uh, you know, they're having problems with their dog, they want to take obedient rights, this is really key, is, is the chemistry. Yeah, we teach you to train your own dog. Do you guys have classes here locally? Yes, we do. It's Great Salt Lake Dog Training Club. It's gsldtc.com. Yeah, and then once you build up a relationship of trust, you might be able to do some tricks. George, do you have any tricks with your dog? Yeah, we got lots of tricks. Let's see what you got. Ready? First of all, we're gonna do a little bit of healing on both sides. Okay. Okay. All right. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Thank hey, you hey. for spur of the moment. And then we go on the inside. Come on. Here we go. Here. All right. And here we go this way. And then we go this way. <laughs> and then we go. Woo! All right. And then we gotta back up. All right. Back. 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 Whoa! Okay. Yeah. Look at that, look at that. Yeah. That looks just like the hoop Dan jumps through every morning when Terry tells him to. That is so amazing. Amazing. I'm gonna try and go this way. Thank you, George. Appreciate it, Bella. Thank you so much. We're gonna come back and wrap things up. Always a pleasure, my friend. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye guys. See you. Well, there's a dog show going on right now, so we're seeing the best of the best of the dogs. And some of them have some pretty good hair too. Let's see it, Pete. Well, I, I heard what Ashton said, uh, anything that has more hair than her, then, yeah. Uh, is that possible? I've seen your hair when it's really puffed out. She's I, got a lot I, of I, hair. It's a lot of hair. Don't be jealous. I'm hair envy. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not jealous. I just picked a big giant came down and got you and went like this. Oh. And your hair, pow, pow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the troll dog. Sorry, sorry. I didn't. I mean, I mean, it's a compliment. It's a compliment. Uh, well, that's why you're like, in the doghouse, B. <laughs> and she's not. And I'm sitting here. He's here all weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Try the bill. Dad Evans, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Mike, how you doing, man? Good. How are you? Good. So we got a, a little taste. You know, we're scratching the surface, really, of the dog show here this morning. But it is competition. Looks like it's starting. It's open to the public. All day. Family event. Family events. People come out. Show the, uh, they love to bring the families out so that the kids can see that all the dogs, just about every dog that AKC registers is at this event. So I have, I have yet to meet a kid that doesn't love a dog. That's right. Exactly. They all love their dogs. And, and this is a great venue for them to come and see it. So. And you don't have to be competing. I mean, you see some they have vendors here, too. If you're looking for dog supplies for your own dog, you got vendors right here. Yeah, there's vendors all throughout. Uh, there's people taking you take photographs of your dog, portraits of your dogs over here, all kinds of stuff. Anything special happening today or tonight? Well, we got the show run up today. Best of show, probably about 5, 5.30. And then tonight, there is a collie uh, specialty tonight as well as tomorrow night. And so if someone comes out, there's a lot of people love collies because of Lassie in the old days. The, the Lassie dogs will be here tonight. Yeah, well, we appreciate you letting us come in and do that. Because the show. Well, thank you. Much so much. Good luck to you in the show. Thank you. Uh, all the information, we'll put a link on the website. Go to fox13now.com. We have more stuff for you for Live at 11 and noon right here on Fox 13. But guys, back to you. And uh, tell uh, Ashton up. Take it easy on the hair spray. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she would for sure win best in show. Well, best in hair, anyway. Yeah. Or biggest in hair, I don't know. <laughs>